So evolution is a process that happens by natural selection and it was developed by, the theory was developed by a very famous biologist called Charles Darwin. Here is an extract from his book. He talks about how he had to, or not had to, but he was urged to publish an abstract, which is a summary of his work. And he mentions a certain Mr. Wallace, who actually, if you look at this highlighted part here, has arrived at almost exactly the same conclusions that I have on the origin of species. So that's what he's written. This chap called Mr. Wallace, and here's a picture of him. He's actually Alfred Wallace. And he was another biologist who did a lot of work on natural selection and how species changed over time. The key thing here is that um, he did the, he came to the same conclusions, but he came to those conclusions independently of uh, Charles Darwin. So while they did discuss a lot of their ideas together, his conclusions were separate, but they arrived at separately, but they were the same. Now, as a result of this work that they did, they jointly published some of their ideas in 1858. So they published their work together in writings in around about 1858 but what is quite interesting is that about a year later Charles Darwin published his now very famous book or even it was very famous then as well this famous book called On the Origin of Species and he published that in 1859 a year later and he published it by himself very interesting didn't include Alfred Wallace in that book However, Alfred Wallace did do some very important work and published some very important work on warning colours in uh, animals and how they use colours to warn off predators. But he also developed a theory about speciation. Speciation. And this is the idea of how species change from one to another. Or in fact, how new species develop. 